Hi everyone. We're going to learn how to graph two cycles of the sine wave, including all the transformations. This is part two. Um, the part we part one was where our period was just two pi. In this case, we're going to have a different period. So we're going to first uh, write down our new center lines, which are these pieces here. This is y equals two y equals 3, and y equals negative 1. Our amplitude is this part right here. That's the radius. It's how big your circle is. The bigger the amplitude, the bigger the... the it's kind of like the stretch. So this would be 3, 2, back to 3. The phase shift is uh, the C over B. So basically what you do here is you take uh, the opposite of this. We look at the argument. So this is going to be pi over 4. Since it's um, negative, we'll make it positive. Divide it by 2. And this gives you pi over 8. All right. This one's going to be negative pi over 8. It's the same thing, but with negative. And this one's going to be positive because that's negative. So that's going to be um, pi over 2 divided by 2 is pi over 4. All right. So on these phase shifts, we're going to shift to the right by pi over 8, to the left pi over 8 for number 2. And for number 3, we're going to shift to the right by pi over 4. And our period is 2 pi over b. Here's our b. So... In this case, all of our b's are 2, so 2 pi over 2 is just pi, and we just get pi. So we're going to be adding, this is kind of your like distance that you're adding to your phase shift. So this is, a uh, phase shift is like your starting point. So let's get started with the first one. The first one is f of x equals 3 sine of 2x minus pi over 4. Let's write pi over 4 plus 2. So the first thing we do is draw a new center line, which is y equals 2. This is our center, this is our normal center line. Alright, and then we're going to go up 3. So because our amplitude is 3, so from our new center line, we're adding 3, which is y equals 5, and subtracting 3, which is y equals negative 1. This is the framework we're going to draw this. Now, our phase shift is pi over 8, so um, I'm moving this over to pi over 8, which is about here half of pi over 4, so it's about 22.5 degrees. Oh, let me move it up here. Pi over 8. All right. And then our period was pi. So I'm adding, um, I'll do it down here. Pi over 8 plus pi is the same as pi over 8 plus 8 pi over 8 which gives you 9 pi over 8. So that's where we're going to end our cycle. So <coughs> we go to 9 pi over 8, 9 pi over 8, sorry. And that's where we're going to end, 9 pi over 8. So now we have our little box that we can draw. Now let's do our little midpoints here. We need five places here to draw the sine wave. So we have 5 pi over 8. That's halfway between 1 and 9. Halfway between 1 and 5 is 3 pi over 8. And this would be 7 pi over 8. Okay. So a good way to do it is just look at a ruler and see what the midpoint is. Or you can use the midpoint formula like we did on the previous video. Now from here I'm just going to draw my sine wave. And draw the characteristic curve. And there it is. Now to go to the opposite side, um, we're going to go draw it to the left. 
instead of adding pi, I'm going to subtract pi. When I subtract pi, I get ne negative 7 pi over 8. So we're going to go to pi over 8 here. We did it here, so this will be pi over 8, negative pi over 8. Negative pi over 8. So I don't know why it's so hard to go backwards. Negative 3 pi over 8. Negative 5 pi over 8. And negative 7 pi over 8. And I have no idea why I drew this line. This line shouldn't be here. We just need four more points on this side. So you're going to draw your sign on down here and put dot, 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 dot. Basically, when you're drawing two cycles, you need eight dots. So this would be <coughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And there it is. Okay, the next one we're going to do is kind of the same almost. So y f of x equals 2 sine of 2x plus pi over 4 plus 3. So we're going to draw a new center line at y equals 3. <coughs> and our amplitude is 2. So from here we go up to y equals 2. Well, actually y equals 5. And down to at y equals 1. So now we have the height of what we're going to draw. Our phase shift is negative pi over 8. So I'm going to draw that. I'll get it closer in. Should have done it in green. All right. So this is negative pi over 8. Our period is 2 pi over b, which is just pi. So from negative pi over 8, we're going to add pi, which is 8 pi over 8. That means we're stopping at 7 pi over 8. So we're going to um, go for um, pi over 8 here. Um, well, let's do this. what's the next one going to be. 3 pi over 8. 5 pi over 8. These are 8s. And then 7 pi over 8. Basically, you need um, three. You need 5 points to draw your sine wave and cosine wave, but to draw your sine wave. So I'm going to start at the center. This would be like saying 0, 1, 0, negative 1, 0. Okay, now we're going to subtract the negative pi over 8. We're going to end at 9 pi over 8. And basically, that's just going to be, whoops, sorry, negative 3 pi over 8, negative 5 pi over 8, negative 7 pi over 8, and then negative 9 pi over 8. All right, and then you just go down and proceed. Where am I? Why am I stopping funny here? Negative three, five, seven, nine. So negative nine pi. So we go down, back up, up here, and down. So the whole uh, sine wave was shifted to the left by negative pi over eight. Okay, the last one we have is f of x equals 3 times sine of 2x minus pi over 2 minus 1. So our new center line is at y equals negative 1. 
my period is three, so from here I go up two. This would be y equals two. This is y equals one, negative one. And then I go down to uh, three. One, two, three. And this would be y equals negative four. Now my period is pi over four. So, I mean, at my period, my phase shift. So pi over four, I'll put about here. Now, my period on this is two pi over b. So it's gonna be pi. So I'm adding pi over four plus pi, which is uh, four pi over four. So that's going to equal 5 pi over 4. So we're ending at 5 pi over 4 somewhere down here. And then just do your midpoints. Halfway between 1 and 5 is 3. Then you have 2. 2 pi over 4 is really pi over 2, but I'm going to leave it like this. And this would be 4 pi over 4. I like to leave it like this because it uh, seems easier, but remember, this is really going to be pi over 2, this one, and this one is really uh, just pi. Now draw your sine wave within this boxy area, and there you have it. We also have to go backwards, so I'm going to subtract, and I don't like how that looked anyway. So. Minus uh, 4 pi over 4, and we're at negative 3 pi over 4. So we're going to, this is going to be um, negative pi over 4, negative um, 2 pi over 4, and negative 3 pi over 4. And since this is the middle here, we're going to use zero here because we need four more. So just proceed and draw down. And there's your sine wave. The next video is going to be three more cosine waves. And we're going to have periods with two pi over three. So if you're looking for those, um, we're going to have periods with 2 pi over 3. And we're also going to have one with a phase shift to the left of pi over 12. So that might be a good one to watch. And those are going to be three cosine waves.